Now, be ready to react right when we get okay. there. Okay. So, what did Big Cleo and Edna learn? <sighs> oh, man. Uh, Miklio and, uh, yeah. Oh. Air pressure. Oh, thank that God. Would that would have been very that helpful. Been helpful. Does air pressure, does air pressure just hit Earth or does it hit? And when? Yeah, so he wouldn't have been. Well, he might have resisted it. Who knows? He should have resisted Ice Reaver, but he did Moonlight thank goodness. Circle? It might be Moonlight Circle. Do I have a new spell? Oh. Did, did, yeah, that's. Nucleo spell. Freeze Lancer. Freeze Lancer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Alicia would have been improved by that level in several ways. But whatever. Yeah. Alicia's not a long term character. Yeah, save yeah. point. Or just into Marlin. Uh, into Marlin leads us into a fight. Oh, yeah, save point then. And we probably do want to leash up more than one HP. Potentially, yes. I prepared the bottles. That was. That was... Ugh. I want you to know, I was very nervous when that thing was sitting at like 3,000 health. I was like, I was just kind of looking at it, like, okay. Holistically, that was the best fight we've had from our perspective. Alicia yeah. contributed very little. Like, but... it, I was just, I was just sitting there thinking, I was like, I was like, okay, it's like. I have to be very careful with Mantra, and like a lot of my philosophy around how Mantra worked was basically like I'm going to attack him a little bit, and if I t if, it, if at any point I think I'm losing this combo, or if you and I are not in sync, I'm immediately hitting the free run free run button in the other direction. Yeah, that was correct. And like when he went to the Mantra phase, it was much easier for me to run from him just because. He can't really hit me if he stops to use mantra so frequently. Yeah. So frequently. yeah. Like, mantra was just nasty because we had to get used yeah, to Yeah, there was that, and just like know. him just. Like, hit, if he broke out of a combo, he can just Is instantly decide to win with it. Like, what a ridiculous unblockable. It just oh. hits everywhere in a sphere. I take it that you're not good around dogs. Not particularly. Miklio's just worried about claws and effect. What? Puppy! Okay, who am I with right now? Well, no one, technically. <laughs> What is Alicia doing? No, I'm really not. I was just casual, casual observation, not important. Air pressure is so much better than any other spell we have at this point in the game. Let's do some fortune telling. Please pick one. So that was pretty easy. Nicleo and Edna. That was a little easier in the last fight. Are you right here in town? Of course. Look how full of malevolence this place is. <laughs> and that just now was a dog hellion, wasn't it? Mark. Right. That was a hellhound. The pathogen itself has assumed hellion form. Hmm. The plague itself? Let's hurry to the sanctuary and deliver the medicine. Given that we know that the plague is a malevolent, is a hellion that's assumed. 
spike form. What? Why do we think medicine is going to help? I'll make people feel better. <laughs> Not literally, but you know. Oh, we have an item shop here. Oh, we we have an item shop here. And the try on menu is these calcite earrings are probably worth buying to to. Fuse? Yeah, that'd be nothing but to fuse, yeah, that'd be nothing but a pure upgrade for him. This seems just better, I think. Is that? Yeah, because that's... No, no, that lowers his attack a bunch. The shock ward seems... Someone's going to benefit from it. It might not be Saray. Like Appear to be garbage. Yeah, those are just garbage. Mini blast seems pretty good. So does this, honestly. Yeah. It's a lot of defense. I'd r honestly, is uh, Garment the sort of equipment Alicia equips? I think so, yeah. If that's the case, you should probably have that. Yeah. Not worth giving up to defense. The floor at Garmin is the piece of equipment Alicia should have. Because we just want her to not die. It's our main, the main contribution she can make is being alive. And the other piece of equipment, I don't know if we want to give it to Lila or Edna. And that ring probably should go to someone. I'm just looking. Uh... Runecrest. Worse. Those are both not worth it. Yeah, the midi blast doesn't seem like it really helps Lila, so it should probably go to Edna. And... Who's getting the shock ward? A good question. Like, can you hover over the shock ward stats? It costs us magic attack, but gives us physical attack and uh, art defense. A yeah. lot of art defense. McCleo's honestly not a terrible candidate. That wind ring is a lot of focus, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Right now, everyone I think has a fire ring. Edna. I well, Edna has an earth ring. This really seems pretty good for Miklio, honestly. Yeah, just take it. Focus in uh, a couple of uh, extra stacks. And this gives her an extra stack, or an extra row on the earth row. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and. Makes fire or Mattis hit harder with its sword, overall. Yeah, giving up 10 for. Fair chunk extra attack power. Almost, what was that? 16. Yeah, 10 for 16, and you get a ton of magic defense. Yeah. A side benefit. So I think yep. that's it. We'll buy the earrings fuse, but we can't really do that in this menu.
That was worthwhile. Yep. Should we stay at the end? Let's see what Alicia is. In our. I was like, we only fought a trivial fight. Oh wait, the enemy looked at us funny. Alicia is 70% health gone. <laughs> We needed to come yeah. in here for that anyway. Let's see here. One of them is only 100. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fusing different types of equipment together. Oh, you mean the thing that's a royal pain and takes forever? By fusing equipment, you bring out its full potency and create something entirely new. Isn't it wonderful? Boy, I'll say. We Seraphim have plenty of time on our hands. So it's important to have hobbies. That's your hobby? I feel like there were some lines left out of that skit or something. Well, that's where Lila gets the fusion yeah. skill, you know? Yeah. All ready to go around and set some yep. line heads on fire? And deliver some medicine and I finished preparing the gel people and treasure there's five treasure chests in town <laughs> oh, that's our priority right there be here you could probably fuse them is that what you're looking at or no that destroy no when we keep one focus one and focus. get whatever these two combine into so that would actually be nothing but an upgrade maybe kind of depends on what it upgrades into Oops. you went off edna to go to lila they both have it I mean, that's not the greatest ability, but it's not horrible for getting a sword with better stats. I guess it's okay, we're basically trading focus plus yeah. four for defense plus four. There you go. Thanks. Oh yeah. Oh, there's yeah, the turtles. Like... We should buy the maps. Should buys the maps. I don't think they've told us to set these on fire yet. They haven't. But but might as well do it, right? I think. Yeah, I thought there was a treasure chest in this field. <laughs> Life bottle X2, okay. Yep. There's an herb. Whoops. Oops. Be funny if you could burn herbs. This is a forest town, you're just running around and starting fire. Smoke, you would be ashamed. It's in the back of the graveyard. It's actually worse because it lowers her defense. It's so much attack. There's one to them. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the last one is a gold treasure chest, so that's all the treasure in town. Calcite is mixed. Yeah. It's, uh... 
Yep. Not worth it at that all. That Amphibole circlet, circlet was a ridiculous find. Lady Alicia, you made it safely. I've brought medicine. What's happening? We can do not stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right so away. Wait, it's, it's not... It shouldn't do anything logically okay. if I understand how hell, hellions work. Yes. And we can help dispatch the hellhounds. And yet, I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. A stronger Hellion, born of powerful malevolence. <laughs> That's one of the better Consumed ones. Royal this game. Knight. Consumed Flight Medicine. Consumed Plague Gramps' medicine. pipe. Nothing like eating a smoke ridden pipe. The dragon! Your grandfather. No, it's just a Hellion. You can tell because the humans don't see it. It's landing over there! Don't tell me you're gonna fight it. It looks like a dragon to me. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. That Hellion is called a Drake. It's a younger form of dragon. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait! Don't, Alicia! Hold on! Look oh, out! Crap! I don't understand the strategy of running away from it, so it's fine. Do you? Not really. That was close. Don't they tell you that they gotta remove other sources of malevolence, though? To make it weaker? Sorry, we didn't Presumably mean to it would be you. an impossible fight if we fought it now. <sighs> Again? Maybe. Well, we gotta do something. Edna. You said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that. And you too. have a bow. With everyone's help. Hassle times two. Slow and steady wins the race, Edna. Don't oh worry, yes, I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go much, splat. Other than cast air pressure. <laughs> Time enemies. to begin operations. Slow and steady. That's the last line yep. in the middle of the that one. Well, Would you I like think there's one by the... Or, oh, no, this, this... this Shall this I help event. you carry those? No, I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey! Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. 
These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help- It's fine. It's a classified location. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Something's up. You think so? Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. <laughs> Edna was busy during the cutscene looking for money. I mean, I don't object. Though for Gold finding is the kind of ability that will. Though presumably she's doing this while inside Saray. I don't think we finished that event until. Oh, yeah, this. <sighs> I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kinda of funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. Alright. Let's hide behind a fence that's not very opaque. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? <sighs> it was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew. Someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Naif for me? <sighs> Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down. To be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. Says the literal <laughs> Earth character. That doesn't quite bring as much of a smile to my face as finding gold on the ground. But it's still pretty good. Consumed plug medicine. That brings a smile to my face. There's the last one over there that you seem unconcerned about. I, I saw an herb. We going in? Thought that's what you'd so be looking at. Are you scared of ghosts too? I was looking at the. Would you like me to head. hold your hand? It's not like that. You understand, don't you, Saray? I'm sensing a huge domain. There's definitely a strong hellion here. It could be hiding anywhere in the museum. We better canvas the entire area. See what I did there? Canvas is a fabric used as a painting service and... Please stop. Oh wow, I just got it. <laughs> it was just enough explaining. It wants us to come in. Looks like it. Am 
my eyes were on Lily. So there's no Guardian Seraph here either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the celestial record. When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are Seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the Seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. Yeah, the gold yeah, chest is no right room. around here. Nope. Do you see greenery and you want <laughs> This dungeon's kind of obnoxious because it has a lot of narrow corridors and it's difficult to move around in. And a lot of cobwebs that some people have. Such important cultural artifacts. This is awful. We can't forgive this. He's all about forgiveness for everything else. But they damage important cultural artifacts. Nah, that's across the line, dude. That was depressing. Writings. It looks like they were scrawled in blood. Oh, that just creates a shortcut. Oh! Yeah, there's quite a few. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, this is the way we want to go. The other way is loot. Well, yeah, I know. I want to go toward loot. Do you I want loot. loot. Do you like loot? Has loot done things for you in your I life? I want loot. I was just, I wanted to just get through doors to get enemies off my back before I went for after the loot. I'm sure you can understand that. You can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior. A fine man. I would like to see his entire body. Oh, but but wouldn't he be more or less naked? That's what makes him attractive, in an aesthetic sense. W well, it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing, but... Alicia! Unladylike! No, I only meant it as a generalization. I really have no personal <laughs> interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I mean, not much, just enough, th the uh, normal amount. Wow, settle down, it's just a statue. Seriously. Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. 
I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. <laughs> All right. Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. Seriously. That is one of the better ones. Good. He's not scared of the random gimmicks of the dungeon, he's scared of the possibility of a dangerous <laughs> encounter. Do you know there's a spider web in the first room you didn't cut? There is. Yes. Well, we're right next to it. There's no reason not to go out of our way to Where cut is it, it, is there? Oh. There it is. Mission accomplished. Saray's house cleaning service. <laughs> this is very important, you know, this is almost as important Super as Frankie important. Box. So we should arrange our party before yeah, the boss. Yeah, I figured we'd get to the save point. Yeah. So, I don't know if you're best off with, well, I guess, first yeah. the herbs. I don't know which of the two good armatuses you're playing. Probably to water. Use. I think this thing's weak. Weak to it. Is this thing like a It feed? might be. But we got a bunch of loot in that dungeon, so we should check some of it. We got a calcite. We got a calcite hairband. hairband. There was something else we got too. That is a clear upgrade. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. Items. New. Calcite boots. No. It's obvious no. Those are not better than amber boots in general. They had some abilities, I'd think about yeah. it, but they don't. Okay, let's drop the boots with fire off for terrible I stat boots. Let's get rid of the ride on that. Yeah. Anyway. Not that big of a deal, they're just not good. Hey, maybe Alicia will survive this boss fight. Hey! hey. Oh. Dang. <laughs> that was tempting. We don't have to yeah. go to the land yet. We'll probably be able to go back once we do. Let's have some soft food by the And you, you wanted a correct, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, are you gonna... Oh, we need to be level 9. 